Good morning! What is up you guys? As you can tell from the title of this video, I am going on yet another girls surf trip. So I'm not leaving until this evening. I have the whole day to prep and get ready for my travel ahead of me. So to start things off, I'm gonna go squeeze in my usual summer morning pool lap swim session. It's definitely become a routine for me and it just makes my day feel so good. And it's also so nice to just get a workout in before a long travel day. So yeah, let's go lap swimming before we get lost in the craziness of the day ahead of us. All of my swimmer girlies out there know about JoLynn already, obviously. They are a staple for every competitive swim, water polo, surf girl out there. Like me personally, I've been wearing their suits since my high school days, back when I was training competitively and would be so excited to go to swim meets because I knew there would be a JoLynn pop-up. So my go-to suit for lap swimming is, and always has been, the Jolin Jackson One Piece. First of all, it comes in so many cute colors. Over the years, I've probably owned every print that they have had in the Jackson One Piece. These are the two ones that I picked up recently. This is a really beautiful turquoisey blue color, which is perfect for the summer. And this one's like this gorgeous dark green peacock vibe so pretty i love the tonal blues and greens but anyway the reasons why this suit is the go-to is because it's made from a very special fabric called forever ever and basically that means it's resistant to chlorine water if you guys don't know chlorine is definitely a detriment to your hair your skin your swimsuits because as you can imagine when you're swimming for hours a day every single day that chemical can definitely break things down but that's why this fabric is so special because it is resistant to chlorine and it won't fade and it will last you a very very long time i also love how comfortable it is and how easy it is to adjust it to fit perfectly to you it has a tie back instead of a fixed so you can really get that perfect fit so whenever i wear the jackson one piece it is game on in the pool. I can go my hardest and really focus on swimming and working out. And the last thing on my mind is any kind of wardrobe suit malfunction. It just doesn't exist. Since it's summertime, I'll be wearing this super cute turquoise onesie today, so I'm gonna go pack that. I also have a really cute JoLynn silicone swim cap. Also, such a vibe. This is another JoLynn swim cap that I have with really cute little flowers. But yeah, it's always fun to be a little extra when you work out, look cute. And we are off to the pool. So the plan today is to do a nice long warm up, really stretch out my body, and then I'll get my heart rate up with a couple high intensity sets and then I'll end with some breath holding, breath work, and do a cool down. It's a beautiful day to be going for a swim. It's sunny and hot and gorgeous. Palm trees all around. Please pardon the mess. I am literally in the middle of packing right now, as you can see. So I'm back for my morning swim and now it's time to really get prepped for my trip tonight. So I wanna show you all of my Jolin bikinis that I'll be bringing with me on my surf trip. 
This was hands down my favorite suit that I designed with JoLynn. What I love about what we did together is the entire line was made from C-Flex, which is a sustainable material made from recycled fishnets. The fabric is so incredibly soft and comfortable and has enough compression to really make you feel supported when you are surfing. And then these are also two styles I designed with JoLynn from our previous collections, but they are now part of the JoLynn surf line. So I have the same hikari top and summer bottoms but in this beautiful print and then these pieces are all from my previous Jolin X Aaron Krauss surf collections and I'm kind of going for like a mix and match vibes with the rest of these bikinis I just have the summer bottoms here in black really simple together they look really good I'm gonna put all of my bikinis in this pouch here These are all the clothes I'll be bringing. I kind of iron them and fold them up, getting them ready to pack into my packing cubes. Got a couple yoga shorts. I got some skirts and dresses, a shirt, a little cardigan, some rompers, cropped tank tops, really comfy shorts, and then a couple long pants options. And that's all I'll be bringing for the week. So I'm gonna pack everything up by category into these little packing cubes. All right, your girl is packed and ready. It took a sec, but we are there. Suitcase, feeling good. Just need to put my toiletry bag in there. And then I got my surfboard put away in this lovely little bag here. I'm gonna be bringing my 5.6 pink fish, which I'm sure you guys have seen in lots of previous content. It's kind of my go-to for surf trips because it's short, so it's easy to pack and carry around. But since it's a fish and the way that it's shaped, it's such a versatile board for so many different wave conditions. So it's a good board. And then if I want a longboard, I'll probably end up renting. I try to avoid traveling with the longboard whenever possible just because it's so highly inconvenient. But I am getting so excited. I'm gonna zip this up and get my camera stuff packed. And then in a few hours, my friend Jessica is gonna pick me up and we're gonna make our way over to LAX. We have quite a long night ahead of us. Bye. Good morning, guys. We made it to Dream Sea Nicaragua Surf Camp, and this is Jessica. We are roommates in this beautiful private suite here in the jungle, and we're just getting ready to go for a surf. It's a gorgeous morning. Let's do it. So today's bikini is from JoLynn. This is actually a suit that I helped design. This is a Hikari top, and I love it because it's super simple and feminine, but it has this adjustable tie in the back to really get that perfect fit when you're surfing. And then these are hands down my favorite surf bottoms that I've ever worn. Also, I'm a little biased because yes, I designed them. They're the summer bottoms and they have a drawstring, which is such a game changer when you're surfing. It's perfect for any wave. You can surf 10 foot barrels, you can just cruise on a longboard, whatever it is, these are staying on. And I also like that they're really cheeky too. So that is the surf bikini for today. We're just doing our pre-surf beauty care right now. This is the Sumbum 3-in-1 leave-in conditioner. A must every time you go in and out of salt water. It just helps to make your hair so much smoother and less crazy, basically. And then... For today's sunscreen, I'm using the Raw Elements Face and Body SPF, and then there's Zinc. This is reef safe, so that is ideal, obviously. Yeah, super excited to go for a surf today. So we're staying here in the jungle, and it's the most beautiful environment. It's kind of crazy because in the morning we can hear howler monkeys in the trees. We're in the jungle, but the beach is close, so that's it's really nice. You get the best of both worlds. Super excited. Let's go for a surf. Bye to our very cute bungalow. Close your eyes, hear the voice within. 
So we made it to our surf spot. This is Playa Maderas, and it's about a 10 minute drive away from Dream Sea, Nicaragua. It's a really fun, sandy beach. Great for beginners to learn, but also so much fun for any level, I think. Even just longboarding the smaller waves coming through is so much fun. And it's such a treat to just be at a beach with no rocks for once in my life. Um, and there's only three people out. So I'm gonna get ready and get out there before the crowd comes, so let's go. Eres mía, mil años contigo en la vida Te venero todo el cuerpo En mis labios una rosa que sigue hincando El sabor de los sueños y milagros Nunca negaré tu presencia Tanta vida nos falta a mí Eres mía, yo soy tuyo Agua Bebé te toca, dame un show Un aplauso, dale Y ese booty dándote atro Y yo con ganas el te mía So we're back from our surf session It's only 7.30 But I feel so productive <laughs> We got a full surf session in, and what a way to get the day started. It was so fun. We got in there before the crowd came and left right when it was getting crazy. How was it? So fun. The water's so warm. Uh, so warm. I could stay here forever. We're gonna shower, freshen up, get some breakfast, and then later on, I'll show you guys around this epic resort. Okay, so I wanna show you what a private suite looks like here at Dream Sea Nicaragua. Doing a little tour for you guys. Over here, we have a private bathroom with a shower, a sink, and a toilet. All the bare necessities, but it's really well done. And this is our beautiful home for the week. It's so stunning to just open the doors and feel the breeze every day and listen to the birds, the howler monkeys, and it's a really relaxing spot. And this is the room. It's so simple, but perfect for the environment. It has all of the really laid back natural design elements and lots of green plants. It's such a relaxing spot and it's the perfect home to explore Nicaragua. So I've kind of taken this half of the room and Jessica is on the other half but it's so spacious and perfect for two people actually dream sea also offers dorm accommodations in the same size room as this one but i think they have a bunch of bunk beds instead so it really is a treat to have your own bed your own bathroom if you want to have a little bit more privacy and not really the hostile environment as much but yeah love the accommodations it's so beautifully decorated okay so i'll show you what the rest of dream sea looks like all of the accommodations here in the jungle our room is that one right there that's the bathroom so this is the main pool area it's the perfect jungle oasis to cool down after you go for a surf or any time of the day i love all of the lush greenery everywhere here it's such a vibe. I cannot get over how beautiful and lush this property is. This is like the main entrance walkway to get into the main bamboo palapa of Dream Sea Nicaragua. This pathway is stunning. There's just jungle, palms, ginger flowers everywhere. <laughs> We are climbing up the three level palapa right now, going to the top top, which is the yoga room. It has such a beautiful view and a really, really great breeze. And everywhere you look, it's just greenery. It's so nice. So yeah, we're just gonna set up and get our flow on.
second serve session of the day. We're doing a little sunset sesh. Not super sunny, but actually that's kind of nice because we have been getting fried. Jessica's waxing my board for me. What a buddy. Wow. Dream Sea actually does day trips here every Sunday. So we're joining in on the excursion today. Waves are looking um, muy, muy pequeño, as I say it. But you know what? It's glassy. And when it's glassy and beautiful out, there's always a fun wave to be had. So we're gonna try anyway. The waves are very small and there's not much of a sunset happening, but we do have it all to ourselves. So that's kind of cool. And maybe the sun will pop out and we'll have a really nice sunset. Fingers crossed. Until then, we just try to catch whatever we can. <laughs> no promises. Well, at least we're in the ocean. We're in the ocean. It's warm, there's no one here. Go. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. <laughs> Wow, we're at the main, ah, this is, there's a motorcycle, oh, fuck. <laughs> we're at the main beach of San Juan del Sur. We had to pull over after our surf session because we were looking at the clouds and we're like, okay, we gotta see the sunset. And boom, there's a lot happening at this beach, a lot of activity, but yeah. What a way to end the freaking day. Wow. Hello guys, it is the next morning. Yesterday was such a fun day, but yeah, the surf wasn't too great in the second session. Um, the sunset was popping off though, so it was so beautiful. The plan today is to do yoga in a bit, have breakfast, and of course, go surfing again. It's so fun getting to experience many different dream seas all over the world. This is my fourth experience with them. I've been to Bali, Sri Lanka, the Tenerife catamaran, and then this Nicaragua location and each location is similar in the sense that it's a great place to learn how to surf or be around like-minded people who also want to learn how to surf do yoga just enjoy the week um, but of course every location is different and it's really fun getting to explore as many as I can so yeah I'm gonna end this video so I can really enjoy the day and live in the moment just disconnect from media because it is so nice to do when you're in an environment like this so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video bye guys <laughs>